Alrighty, uh, one more thing that I think is pretty useful that I want to show you is how you can create a button to run a method that can do things. For example, like what if we want to randomize our stats here? You know, as a designer, I'm like, yeah, give me a starting point. Like click, 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 click. Okay, I kind of like this. And then I can poke around here. You know, we could take this even further if we want. We could randomize all these values. But for now, I'm just going to stick with the combat stats just to show you the idea. You know, you could pull a name from a pre-existing list of names, like give me a random NPC name, right? Uh, you could do a lot of stuff. So the point is we want to make a button and we want to have something happen when we click it. And I want to show you how you could do that inside of a, a custom inspector window. So if we open up our code here, first thing we need to decide is where do we want to put it? I have these two on one line. Let's actually put it on the same line with our uh, right here. Like we'll do a horizontal and we'll do our damage here and we'll do our button. So let's do another editor, give me layout, dot begin horizontal. Okay. I uh, remember when we have a begin, let's also have an end. Editor scripting is wild, y'all. Uh, horizontal. Ooh, okay. So this is where our button's gonna go. So our our button is also going to return a Boolean value. So like if we press the button, then it'll do something. If not, you know, it'll just it'll just draw it. So what we want to do is we want to say if let's draw a button. So it's GUI layout for this one. Button. Then we gotta label the button. Put Put something on the button, uh, randomize, random stats. Try and keep that name short so we don't have to do weird stuff. So now we we need to decide what happens when we press the button. So um, we could actually, let's make a separate method here. Let's clean this up a little. Void random, randomize stats. Okay, we'll just call it here. All right, so we're just gonna call this method when we press the button. Yeah, let's save that and see what that looks like. Yeah, a little button there, so that's cool. Uh, so we can press the button if we need and it will randomize all these stats. Okay, so now, what? how do we wanna randomize these stats? Now this is kind of a, up to us, right? Like I, you could put these from zero to 100 if you want. Um, I don't know what the maximum range of, of these stats are, but uh, we could pretend that it's, uh, we could pretend that it's 100. So we'll say damage dot, int value is equal to, right? Uh, so we actually, we need to do this for our health, speed and damage too. I like to be specific because there's a unity engine dot random and there's a system dot random uh, or, or some other dot random. Um, I wanna make sure that I'm using one or the other. Random dot range, then we give it a range. Uh, let's say one and, uh, let's, do, let's just do one and 50. We need to do it to all our stats. So we'll do health dot int value. Remember, we're accessing the serialized property and then um, the int value inside is equal to unity engine dot random dot range. Same thing. Then the speed dot int value dot unity engine dot random dot range. Oh, okay. All right, so we have this. Uh, when we press the button, right? This will return true. We'll press the button it will reassign the health to a random value between one and uh, it's either 50 or it's 49, max exclusive, uh, exclusive. Yeah, so it'll reassign these values on a random value. And we should also see our difficulty repopulate. Random, 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 random. You can see that our difficulty is pretty high, right? <laughs> uh, we could either change how the difficulty is calculating or we could just bump this number down to lower. Uh, maybe we do like 25, 25, 25, right? We don't know, like this would depend on our game, right? Okay, that's that's a little closer. Anyways, um, the point here is we can create buttons that will do things, like whether it's to set something up or just save ourselves some time. We can create buttons that will accomplish things inside of the inspector window, which is pretty, pretty handy. Like you could um, use this for a lot of different scenarios. Anyways, that's how you do it. That's how you create a button and that's how you run a method when you press the button.